Hello, monkeys, and welcome to the Live Wild or Die podcast, as we're officially calling it now. I'm your host, Monkey Dan. And thank you to everyone that tuned in last week. That was such a huge boost for me. I'm telling you guys, that's fuel when I get this feedback from you guys that you're tuning in, that you enjoyed it. And, you know, we want to keep getting better. better. We want to keep getting wilder. And one of the ways we're going to do that is getting feedback from you guys, what you like, what you don't like, questions, and anything else we can do to improve your listening experience and overall monkey experience. So again, feel free to reach out anytime and thank you everyone for the fuel to keep getting wilder. And for today's episode, I wanted to focus a little bit more on training and it's more of a training mentality of seeing the world as your gym and seeing the training opportunities in whatever environment you may find yourself. And to begin, I thought I'd share some unique places that I've personally set up monkey bars. By no means is this a comprehensive list, but just some ideas to kind of spark the imagination. So, going down the list. Monkey bars have been set up on trees all over the world. They've been set up, excuse me. They've been set up on the roof wrap, roof rack of my car. We set them up on a bridge, off a bridge, I should say. We were in Norway in the Arctic, and there was these wooden cod drying racks. These are awesome for monkeying. So if you're ever in northern Norway, definitely look for those. Set them up on soccer goals, basketball hoops. I was in Italy, and the best term I could think of is a pergola. It, it was this wooden structure with these top beams and it was actually grapes were growing on it so that was kind of cool at the beach where there's cliffs this is in northern california i found these nice rock horns where i could sling them and do all kinds of exercises a few years back in my 98 saturn that has since departed my life did some car toes around the parking lot of the old monkey office and lastly, this was also in Italy. There's this uh, awesome old olive oil um, factory, basically, we we're staying at. And they had this support beam in the room, so I tossed them over that. First thing in the morning, hop out of bed, boom, pull-ups right there. And I thought a segue from there would be kind of cool is just to share some other weird ways that I, I, that's the word I use in my notes is weird. Some other weird ways that I've trained and this is with and without monkey bars. So lifting rocks and logs. And for those of you watching on YouTube, all around me here is this plethora, this paradise of rocks, logs. It's, I mean, it's just a natural gym all around me. I've done handstand pushups using trees for balance. That's actually Really fun, something I really enjoy. Um, I really enjoy handstand push-ups. Dips, actually, in the wild have been a very... I've been able to find a lot of places in the wild to do dips. So I've done dips between logs, dips... This isn't the wild, but various hotels or the barracks I stayed in when I was a ranger and firefighter would do dips between chairs. <sighs> On a deck where there's the railing comes to a 90-degree point... That's great for doing dips, leg lifts, all kinds of core exercises. It's like um, at the gym, they had those dip bars, even though we're the anti-gym. <sighs> Lastly, dips between rocks. There's actually quite a few of those I find out here in Colorado. I've created this rowing pull-up bar apparatus using two chairs and the shaft of a lacrosse stick, which is actually quite versatile. And then... I finished this list up with, oh, and for those of you that are not watching, I'm sitting at the tail end of a snowstorm here, so it's a little bit cold. My hands are numb. My chin's a little numb if I had that Clark Giswold sound, but um, things I've squatted, rocks, logs. I've squatted my wife, squatted my dog, squatted bikes, heavy backpacks, and water jugs and by no means is that a comprehensive list but i thought that might spark some some ideas for you guys and one of the questions if you're watching this on youtube down below in the comments 
maybe share some things you've squatted. And basically, you know, I, I think a lot of people are, you're not, you're not necessarily walking through life looking at all these places you can train, thinking about things you could lift or do body weight exercises on. But if you start to embrace and maintain that mindset throughout your day, I think you're going to be able to get a lot more training in and you're going to be able to kind of escape. My next point I've written down here is getting outside of this one hour workout in the special place mentality. And I think for not necessarily monkeys, but most people, especially in the States, were stuck in this mindset of the one hour workout, which is maybe a class. It could be a yoga class, a CrossFit class, whatever. And it's usually done in this special workout place. And I know a lot of monkeys, you guys are getting out there, you're being wild, you're, you're being creative, you're thinking outside of that box. And, you know, I just really want to reinforce that idea that if you are constantly taking advantage of these little kind of micro workout opportunities throughout your day, you're going to one, get in more volume and you're just going to be healthier, happier, and wilder. And moving on to my next point I wanted to discuss is combining monkey bars with other natural features to create a unique and wild workout. And what I mean by that is your entire workout doesn't necessarily have to involve monkey bars. You could also use accessory exercises. They could be body weight exercises. They could be rocks, logs, kettlebells, wherever, whatever you have to enhance or add more variety to your workout. And so I was kind of focusing more on the wild when I was making this list, but so the first point I, when I went to school out in DC on the East coast and for anyone that's seen the exorcist, the exorcist stairs, there, there are these huge staircase in the city that are great for running sprints up and down. And there just happened to be this pipe coming out of a building next to it. That was perfect for doing pull-ups or core exercises, all kinds of stuff. So one of my favorite things to do was this beautiful spring days, run down there, sprint up the stairs, do a lap around the block and then come back and do pull-ups or core exercises, hanging off that bar and then push-ups and repeat. One of my favorites when I'm on the coast, uh, my family's from California. We'll go out there and visit. We'll bring the monkeys. We'll do log drags on the beach where we'll hook up the straps of the monkey bars to a log and then drag those up and down the beach. And then we'll combine that with all kinds of other body weight exercises, sprinting, and then throwing rocks around as well on the beach. I was backpacking a couple years ago with my wife in the Sierras and did a workout doing monkey bar push-ups and then combining rock throws. So these explosive plyometric rock throws and then combining that as well with a rock carry. So body weight, ex- kind of calisthenic body weight exercise combined with explosive plyometric combined with a more strongman style. So that was a great workout. I'll never forget that one. And then at home, I actually used to do this when I was pretty young. I would run the stairs at my parents' house. And then now what you can do is at home, run the stairs. And then if you have the monkey bar set up on a door, throw your feet in the straps, bust out some core exercises, and then repeat. So you can do this kind of hit training using the stairs, jack up your heart rate, and then get in that core strength using the monkey bars on the door. And then just in general, you can always combine monkey bar exercises with body weight exercises. So that could be, for example, this branch, I have the bars hanging off me. Now, this is a great branch for doing pull-ups, but It's not quite the best branch for doing lower uh, exercises where I need the bars lower to the ground. So what I could do is do exercises like pull-ups, toes to bar, all different kinds of core exercises. And then I could do body weight squats. I could do body weight push-ups. I could do crunches. I could do all these different things combining the two. So you don't have to, it's not an all or one, excuse me, an all or none situation. You can always mix and match things. And that mentality is going to greatly expand what you're going to be able to do with the monkey bars and what we're really all about. Again, it's that creativity. 
I'm starting to wrap things up here. I, I really want to emphasize that this mentality of seeing every training opportunity is part of being a monkey. Monkeys don't make excuses. And instead, you guys are creating, you're exploring the possibilities for training. Something is always better than nothing. And I'm guilty of this myself. So back when I was in high school and college and kind of the early years after college, there'd be times where if I couldn't get in the entire workout that I wanted to do for whatever reason, I just wouldn't do anything, which that makes zero sense thinking back on it now, but I definitely would do that. So again, something is better than nothing. So if you just, if work, if you have a day where you're just, you can't get to your workout, you can't, you don't have time to get out and monkey, whether it's 10 squats in your office, 20 push ups while you're walking back to your car, whatever it is, or trying to get in more walking. Uh, there were days back when I was a ranger and firefighter, there'd be, they're called station days or cash days. We were stuck inside all day. I would sneak back to these rooms and do sets of push ups and squats to sneak in a little extra volume. But again, if it's any way you can add in training and it, it, it can be just thought of as movement as well, that's going to make you just that extra little bit of wild. And so that's what you should focus on, especially when you're traveling and when you're in other situations, when you're outside your normal routine. So I know a lot of people when I was doing a lot more coaching and personal training, a lot of people, they would go on trips, they would travel and they'd come back and it was always the same thing. Oh, I feel out of shape. I ate too much. I didn't exercise. And again, it's all, it's not that it wasn't possible. It's just, they didn't have that monkey wild state of mind. So thank you again for tuning in to the second episode of the monkey cast. I'd love to hear questions from you guys. I'd love to hear comments, any topic ideas you guys would like to hear about. And again, thank you. Keep getting wild, everyone. Monkey on.